Where the hell did he get automatic weapons? Parkland consistently voted one of the safest communities in America until today. Please. Put your phones away. Put your phones away. Now when are people going to realize that the terrorists are the NRA, folks? Wake up! Hey, hey, Big E here. Wake up! Coming to you with a little more of a somber tone today. Moko, wake up! Okay? In a matter of seconds, a country music festival turned tragic, a storm of gunfire raining down upon an innocent crowd. It makes me so angry! This is the 18th school shooting already this year. It is just mid-February. My, my goodness, wake up! He was shooting everybody and there was dead people everywhere and I don't even know what was happening. of being the worst disa human disaster casualty terrorist act. I have the gunshot victim. He's by the entrance on the west side of the school. Would you please remove any metallic items you're carrying, keys, loose change. Holy shit. A gunman perched on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Resort had opened fire on 22,000 concert goers. Uh, he did stuff. He burritos. You may not know this, this is the epicenter of the opioid crisis here in uh, Canada and the U.S. and many parts. Hey, they were carrying a girl or, or somebody that was all bloody and it looked like they had been shot. And then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. Over inundated with deaths and overdoses every day. I'm going to show them a world without you. And it's me, Big E, doing the important reporting on the scene, going Facebook Live. A world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries. Gather the troops, uh, raise the awareness, and then organize. Become an activist. Become active in seeing what, what is right and what is wrong with the way the world is today. A world where anything is possible. In the end, a massive loss of life and hundreds injured in the worst mass shooting in modern American history. Rage against the machine had it right, folks. Yes, you know it. Wake up! <laughs> We're shot, horrified, completely dumbfounded. He's just a guy who lives in Mesquite who likes burritos. I mean, this this shooter that we're talking about in Vegas is kind of there. a conundrum, and he it's is, uh, it's you. kind of what you're talking about. It's a person who, they can't find a motive. He just seemed to have a hole in his soul. Yes. That he, he was rich. He had a lot of money. The only time we have seen as successful and as get appreciation as human beings is if we are rich. Wake up! Yes, we're Victory Square here in uh, Vancouver and a little bit more east, east, west. special to me uh, because I know that my grandpa used to come down here on a soapbox, literally on a soapbox. This is an epic Siwash rock. Okay, here's my soapbox. I'm ready to go off. It seems extraordinary that something so malicious and malignant and awful can occur with such frequency and it must be the result of systemic problems. 
that we continue to have these atrocities happening into our communities, not just here, not just here. No more you try to discredit, you still never read it. Bill, is these are times where we live on the outside. External phenomena has stimulated us to a ludicrous degree, and that addiction is just the amplification of consumerism. If you constantly broadcast at people that they ought be afraid, if you constantly broadcast at people that they ain't good enough and that they can purchase somehow externally the feeling of well-being, then addiction for me is a natural conclusion of this phenomena. To, uh, to annihilate the concept of self, the construction of self, the biochemistry, biochemical tapestry stimulated by a culture, formulated in memory, to see that thing bust apart by hallucinogens is a glory to behold. You know, walk amongst the, the, the common man and woman. To experience oneness, to experience to connection, to know that in truth we are all one. <laughs> We're all looking for oneness, we're all looking for connection. And I think in your country at this time, we're seeing tumult and rage bubbling up in the form of these peculiar figures, these ludicrous gargoyles that govern. Because this, I'm sitting here at the epicenter of Victory Square, and this place used to mean something. This system has been around for about 500 years. And we need to start re recognizing that these are issues, serious issues. And we support it every day. And until we wake up. Goodness, wake up! I'm doing something that I feel is an insult to our collective intelligence. You want some of this? You want some of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake up! Wake up! Don't mess with me, Moko. <laughs> How long? Not long! Cause what you reap is what you sow! Wake up! Oh, here we go. We got some bikers that are worried for their, scared for their lives here. It's okay, folks. Settle down. <laughs> needs it. Get out there folks. Come on, let's go. Let's make a difference in this world, right? Famous uh, Mad Mokes here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Don't get my juices flowing.